big welcome to friend and uh, our special day is uh, letting the cows out uh, into their summer paddock. You're too excited for today. It's a very exciting day, isn't it, Sky? What do you think? You want to go out there, do you? Yeah, that's going to be good fun, isn't it? All your mates are going to get to go out too. They're already waiting. Here's the rest of the group. I have a surprise for you. Do you know what's happening today? Are you all ready for some nice fresh grass? It's been growing all winter for you. Who's ready? Who's feeling like running? You? Maybe? What do you think, Steve? Are you gonna do some running today? Stretch out those legs? Yeah? I was gonna say you're probably chomping at the bit, but that wouldn't be a very vegan, animal respectful thing to say, would it? And the sweet part of it, of course, is the cows love it. The, one of the things with animal rescue is that sometimes you, you, you get so involved with it, you, you kind of forget the magic. And, and normally you, 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 you witness magic by other people's reactions when they come for the first time. You see the wonder and the, and the joy of it all. I remember my first time here and of course, you know, nearly 20 years later I suppose I'm a little bit more browbeaten than I used to be and, uh, uh, but the magic's still here and this is a really, really good example of, of, of the magic and basically what it is is when the cows go out they eat the grass and then the grass does something to them that I can only equate to a, a spaceship with rocket fuel being launched or something. Hello! You're having fun, Stevie! And, uh, and honestly, it is just a joy to see how happy the cows are. And they express their joy really just by running around as fast as they can and jumping and headbanging each other and playing. And of course, when they're so old now, um, the, the, there will be one or two of them, I'm sure, that will won't let us down. And we have two youngsters, Sky and Willow. I think she just went, oh my god, all oh, this space. I remember last year uh, seeing a couple of our real old ones and they and it was so subtle I, I, I noticed it um, but they're, they're so old they 
they look like they didn't really do anything, but they did. They was eating grass and they just done the tiniest little buckaroos, the tiniest little jumps. And you could see their hearts were jumping for joy, but their body just couldn't do it, basically. Um, yeah, bless their hearts. They, they, I mean, these cows now are sort of, you know, um, that's be 20 years old, you know, maybe getting on a little bit older now. And of course, you know, I've never seen cows so old. I suppose most people would, would do, but Old Mine Betting is one of the oldest herds in the country, if not the world, almost, you know. Maybe that's a slight exaggeration, but I doubt it. for your ongoing support it really does mean a lot to us and without it of course we could not do what we do and these cows certainly couldn't have lived as long as they did without people like yourself supporting us a big thank you